I wonder if in the future, instead of Aphrodite being in the Louvre, it's going to be a 3D printed sculpture. Welcome back everybody, welcome to George's Gadgets, I am George and today is I browse the internet looking for cool things to print. Today I had the opportunity of printing out a cool figurine from GameBody.com. I didn't even know this place existed until I was asked to print out uh, a Poseidon figurine for one of my bosses who was leaving as a going away present. And we discovered this website together and it has a ton of awesome models. Um, they are for purchase and I had to purchase this one myself but I was extremely happy with the printability of it um, and also the quality of the model itself. I originally printed this out in black for him, but I decided to try and print this out in marble because I saw a bunch of cool pictures on Pinterest of different marble figurines and um, yeah, I go to Pinterest, okay, I'm one of those people. Um, but it came out really good. Uh, I was really excited to to get the marble filament and overall, the filament's great. I printed it with stock settings uh, from the Prusa slicer. So I just, I didn't change anything. I just picked Prusa filament and it worked fine. I will say that it's a little more brittle than normal filament that I use. Uh, I did cut myself a couple times when I was trying to peel away the supports. Uh, it's extremely sharp. But the feel of it is really nice and the quality that you get, I feel like the finish is amazing. Um, to these models, I was messing around with the Cura experimental settings because they have a really cool experimental support setting and it basically covers all of the features of the the model and I thought that it would be neat to get a time lapse of that and then peel away the the supports Supports worked, and I think that I'm going to experiment more, experiment more with that in the future. If that's something you guys want to see, let me know. You just have to tweak the settings a little bit to get the supports correctly, and maybe they've updated it since I last used it, I don't know. So as, as for the filament, the filament's great. I really liked it, and I'm going to link it down below along with all the models that you see here today. The Louvre actually posts a lot of their sculptures on my mini factory, and they're just 3D scans of their sculptures, and I just think it's crazy that it's took so much time for these artists back in the day or even currently to make sculptures out of rock and marble and we're able to just walk up brrr, scan it and then we can print it out on our 3d printers to have them and admire them in our own home so i want to say thank you to the louvre for posting those out there it's really awesome that you guys allow people like us to experience art you know in the flesh even if we don't live close to your museum let's talk about the model uh, that we actually got from GameBody.com. So I don't remember the exact price. I think it was like 20 to 25 bucks. I'm not 100% sure. I think that it's extremely fairly priced considering that you're getting something that somebody spent hours trying to make. There's a bunch of other models on there and some of them allow you to assemble them off the print bed or you can print it all in one go if you don't wanna have to glue and snap parts together. I will say that I think for this model, if I had the option, I would have printed it out in separate parts the first time I did it, it failed. And then four more times after that, it also failed. But I eventually got a good one for my boss who was leaving and I didn't have to worry about trying to glue anything together. When I decided to print it out and share it with you guys, it ended up breaking in multiple spots. It's together, it works, and it looks cool from a distance, but if you come up close, definitely you'll start to see the imperfections. 
So when you're peeling the supports off this, if you do decide to get this and print it out yourself, you have to be extremely delicate around the area where the staff connects from the bottom of his hand to the base of his feet because it's the way the supports print out, it kind of wraps around that and you have to peel it away on both ends before you decide to rip it off. There is an insane amount of support that comes with this. So I think that it would be cool to test out uh, water soluble supports with the mosaic in this model. I do think that it would increase the time drastically and I don't know if my bed actually has enough room to print out the purge block that would come with that. As everyone knows, because literally everyone and their mother came on and commented about the purge block on my video about the mosaic. I'm gonna be doing more videos on that in the future. You know, uh, that's, that's really all I have for you guys today. I just wanted to show off some cool models that I found on the internet and talk to you about this neat marble filament that I also found. There's other options, there's other makers of marble filament. The one I used is just one that I found on Amazon for pretty cheap uh, that I wanted to play around with. So tell me what you guys think down below. If you wanna see a different model printed out, no matter how difficult, I will give it my best shot. So if you see more on GameBody that you wanna see, shoot me a message or comment down below and I'll, I'll try and pick it up and then print that out as well. But I just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching. It's a pleasure making these for you, and I really appreciate reading everything that you guys have to say. I mean, that's, that's all I have for you today. I will see you in the next video. Thanks.